now let's see the other formulas suppose a man covers a certain distance at x kilometer per hour and an equal distance of y kilometer per hour then the average speed during the whole journey is 2 into x into y divided by x plus y kilometer per hour so considering this man he started uh, walking in the road with the x kilometer and walking in the street in y kilometer so the average speed is 2x into y divided by x plus y kilometer per hour the time taken by a train of length l meters to pass a pole or standing man or a signal post is equal to the time taken by the train to cover l meters so the time taken is the the length of the train so the length of the train is l so the train to cover l meters is calculated as the time the distance is time so distance is l the time taken by a train of length l meters to pass a stationary object of length b meters then the time taken by the train to cover l plus b meters so it's l plus b we need to add the length of the train and the length of the object suppose the two trains or two object bodies are moving in the same direction the relative speed is calculated using u minus v meter per second so u is the train speed of first train and v is the speed of second train so u minus v meter per second that's the relative speed if it is in the opposite direction in that case uh, we need to manipulate uh, using the formula u plus v meter per second so u is the speed of first object and v is the speed of the second object the relative speed is u plus v meter per second if two trains of length x meter and y meters uh, are moving in opposite direction at u meter per second and v meter per second the time taken by the trains to cross each other is given by x plus y the length of train 1 and train 2 and velocity of train 1 and train 2 the speed which is given by the time so this is how you have to calculate it it's u plus v which is nothing but your relative speed if two trains length x meter and another train of y meter are moving in the same direction at a u meter per second and v meter per second then the time taken by the faster train to cross the slower train is given by x plus y divided by u minus v that's nothing but your relative speed so that's the time taken here x is the length of the train so length of the train and y is the length of the another train and this is your speed of first train and speed of second train fast train and slow train and the relative speed is u minus v meter per second